it was once said that both good and bad decisions were made three or four decisions ago. Uh, and what this means is oftentimes when we as human beings, we make either good or bad decisions, the, the thing that is the decision wasn't actually made right at that moment. It was made three or four, sometimes even more uh, decisions ago. And uh, guys, I thought of this recently. We were in Florida for 10 days. It was amazing. The sun was out almost every day. We were on the beach, meeting new people, swimming, uh, surfing, fishing. Uh, it was great. So um, while we were there, I'm going to share with you two stories of what I think are bad decisions. And they weren't made right at that moment. Um, I'll explain. So the first one uh, was a guy that I met while I was walking on the beach by myself. Uh, Kate and my boys were snorkeling and I said, look, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and just walk down the beach and sort of see what I see. And a really nice guy came up to me and said, Hey man, yo, is that a LeBron James Jersey? And it was, I had my LeBron James Jersey vintage from Cleveland, um, back in the day. And he was just a nice guy talking to me. But as we started talking, I realized that he was kind of hung over. Um, you know, he had the baggy eyes and he started to share with me. Um, he was in his mid twenties, good looking guy. And he was like, man, we were up late last night. I lost $6,000 gambling. And, um, you know, he was just a really nice guy who I actually quite liked. Um, so he lost $6,000. Yes, that was the bad decision. But if you think about it before that, they made the decision to go gambling him and his brother, it turns out that was worse than losing 6,000 was the decision to go gambling. But even before that was the decision that they would be gamblers. They would decide to gamble with, you know, thousands of dollars. Um, and I would suspect that they have made that sort of similar decision before. Maybe they won some money, um, which you know is is how, what got them in that position in the first place. Um, and then after losing six thousand dollars, he was worried about his rent and how he was going to pay his rent. So if he couldn't pay his rent because of the gambling, it was because they decided to go gambling, which they could have stopped earlier on when they said, "Hey, do you want to go gambling?" And maybe his brother says, "You know what? Let's just watch Netflix." for the night or let's go fishing or something else. So there's an example of uh, how a bad decision could have been stopped three or four decisions ago. Um, the other one is some of the outfits that the girls are wearing on the beach. Uh, my boys who are young, they are uh, five, seven and nine. Um, one of them said, um, you know, mommy, how come that girl has her underwear on on the beach? And you know, everyone wears different types of swimsuits on the beach. I had no shirt on and just my swim trunks, my board shorts. Um, but there are different types of swimsuits. And when you go to Miami, Florida and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, there is a wide array of swimwear. And some of them look like they were sold at 50% off. And that's because there's 50% less material involved in the making of that swimwear. Now, uh, if you're a girl and this is something that might, might apply to you, um, the decision that you're making to wear that sort of swimwear um, isn't functional. It's not just to get you to the beach. It's to catch the eye of a boy, a male probably. And the, the problem with that is if it works, then the sort of guy that you've caught the attention of isn't usually a great guy because they're looking for things that appeal to their eyes, not the sort of character that you have inside of you. They're not looking for beauty on the inside, looking for it on the outside. So what if the beauty on the outside changes? You put on a few pounds, you get into an accident, you get a scar or whatever, that same person that took the bait and they, they bit on what you showed them is now not going to like who you are because of how you look. It's, it's, a bad decision, but it was made when you were alone in your bedroom or wherever you're in the bathroom, changing, getting ready for the beach. It wasn't necessarily made at the beach. It was made at home. And even before that, it was probably made, I don't know, by the parents, their parenting style or a rebellious sort of streak in the child, um, somewhere in there. So this is where we're at today. We're going to talk about self-control. I'm going to give you a few verses and try to explain to you why I think self-control, you guys, is one of these things that is a biblical mega theme. It is literally 
in almost every book of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. And the very first time we see someone drop the ball in self-control is Eve, when she bit that darn fruit. <laughs> she was by herself, debatably, maybe Adam was off to the side, but um, she bit the fruit. She knew that she shouldn't, and it was up to her, herself, to say no to that temptation, and she didn't do that. She lost her self-control. Um, other famous examples that we read about in the Bible are King David. He lost his self-control with Bathsheba and just sought what his eyes desired, and he got it, and it created murder and lies and deception, and it was a really bad tumble down of decisions. Um, so here's what the Bible says about self-control. In Proverbs 25, 28, written by Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, a man without self-control is like a city broken down and left without walls. And those walls would be self-control. Also in Galatians 5, 22 through 23, we see uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And it's an interesting thing, you guys, about self-control. It's up to you, by yourself. And the reason why this is tricky is no one is going to sort of get you in trouble. That's where it is a problem is the police don't know what you think right? Your, your self-control, you're the only one that can see what you think, that knows what you think. And as you get older and you move out of your parents' house and you're not under their um, authority anymore, you make decisions for yourself. And so your parents' job is to teach you the way in which you should go. And they're hoping that you will start to get the idea and start to do it for yourself. But there's all sorts of things that you can do that you're allowed to do as you grow up, but you really shouldn't do them. And so here's one verse on that one. It says, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. That's in 1 Corinthians 6, 12. Here's an example of that, you guys. I am 42 years of age. Can you believe it? 42. Um, now I can drink alcohol. Okay, I'm over 21, uh, a responsible adult, and I can drink technically as much alcohol as I would like at home if I'm not driving, right? There's no limit uh, legally. But is it a good idea it, within myself, my self-control for me to get drunk? I would say whether you are a Christian or not, the answer is no. That's not a good idea. It makes my judgment bad. It makes my temper shorter. It makes my mind wander. And the things that I would do if I was drunk are not good. So it says all things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. And that will apply to you guys. Can you wear whatever sort of swimsuit you want when you're over 18 and out of your parents' house? Yes, you can. Is it helpful always? No, not really. Are you allowed to go gambling when you're over, I think, 18 or 21? Don't quote me. Uh, but, you know, is that a legitimate business in America? Yes, it is. But is it beneficial? No, it is not. No matter what you think, it's not beneficial for you to go gambling. So there are all sorts of things. Um, is it allowed for you to stay up late? Yeah, sure. Is it beneficial? No, it's not. Is it uh, allowed for you to eat chocolate all day? Yeah, it's allowed. Is it good for you? No. Type 2 diabetes is on the way. So, um, guys, self-control is one of these things that we, as Christians and friends, we really need to be working on. Uh, whether it's spiritual or just physical, or what you wear, what you listen to, or how late you stay up at night, or how much exercise you do, we've got to get self-control right. So here's a couple more scriptures. Uh, I love this one in 1 Corinthians from uh, the Apostle Paul. I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating in the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control. Lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. And then one last one in 1 Thessalonians uh, 5, 6, and 8. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us wake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. Those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for the helmet, the hope of salvation. So guys, this week, my homework for you is to think about one area 
that is in that space of allowed but not helpful for you. Uh, maybe for you it's screen time. Are you allowed to have four, five, six, seven, or eight hours of screen time a day? I don't know the answer, but if you are, is it helpful for you? Um, are you allowed to eat chocolate? Uh, I hope, because chocolate's great, but is it helpful and beneficial for you to have tons and tons of chocolate? Probably not. Um, are you allowed to go shopping online? Yeah, I, maybe, but is it always helpful? Well, that's up to you. And so this is self-control, guys. Um, being able to manage yourself. I promise you, you will not regret it. If you can fix one thing, one area of your life, take control over it. Beat your body, not literally. Just work at it really hard in one area this week. Have some self-control. Get stronger in this area. You won't regret it. God will be pleased with the effort you're making. So have a great week, guys. I hope you figure out something that you can have more self-control in this week. I miss you. Hope to see you soon. See ya.